Welcome to a video on learning RenPy. In this video, I'm going to cover labels and jumps. Labels are a way to break up code in logical sections. However, the author or developer is thinking about the code are ways to create labels to constrain different sections. A visual novel in RenPy starts with a label start. We can see that here. I've pulled up the script file in the editor Atom and the label start is here, line 11. This is where the game starts. Our comment tells us helpfully right above that. And as we saw, if we start this project, we see the very next line is line 19. So we start at the label start. Again, labels are a way to break up sections of code in different ways. If we click through this, and we come to a choice, if I click an option, then we see a different outcome. This is an example of using jump. So the keyword jump moves between different labels sections of code. We can use labels to divide up the code into sections and use the jump keyword to move between them. So again, it starts with start, label start, game begins. As we scroll down here, we see line 47, the jump keyword jumps to the label right away. And on line 51, the jump keyword jumps to the label later. As we see here, we have the label start, label right away, which we can shrink, label game, label book, label Mary, and label later. That was the other option. We can go right away or down to later. In each of these sections here, we can see using the editor Atom, we can condense all of that code. We can see the label start is from line 11 to 53. Label right away is 54 to 108. Label game is from 109 to 133. Label book 134 to 159. Label Mary 160 to 237. Label later 238 to 254. This allows us to shrink these, collapse them, as different sections of this game using the editor using the editor Adam. So we see coming back here, our visual novel, our project in RenPy starts with the label start, then moves progressively down. So as we saw, we saw line 19 when it very first started. When we made a choice, we used the jump keyword to move between different labels. When we chose right away, we jumped here to line 54 and showed line 58, which is what we see here. However, if we had gone back and chosen a different option, we would have jumped the label later at the very bottom here. Starts on line 238, and we saw that text instead. And then it would remove progressively through this. At the end of any label, if the keyword return is found, this closes out the story and closes out the project. For example, if we click through this, we see bad ending, line 251. If we click one more time, return sends us back to the sender, in this case the main menu, which kicked off the story. We went use the start option to go to the start label, ran through it, and whenever we ran into the keyword return within a label, it returned us back to the beginning. In this case, the main menu. This has been a review of labels and jump. Labels are a way to break up RenPy code into different sections, sometimes logical, sometimes illogical, depending on the author and developer and how they're thinking about their own code. Usually these are associated with outcomes or different paths through a story. We see an example here. We could have chosen the first path right away or later, each of which branched to different places within this code. Right away started at line 54, but later started at line 238. Each of what allows us using the jump keyword to jump to that label. So we saw on line 47 and line 51. We can jump directly to that label. Labels then are sections of different code. The keyword jump allows us to move across those sections.
Game start as a reminder with the start label. Label start right here, line 11. Then proceeds downwards. The label comes or closes with the return keyword. It returns it back to the source, the main menu in most cases, and the game ends. So the keyword return within a label closes the game. Labels can be used as different sections of code to divide up different things depending on how the author developer feels like creating paths or creating sections within their own code. And the jump keyword can be used to jump between those different labels. Thanks for watching.